Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and it's the new year, so happy 2017 to each and every one of you out there, and I've decided to start it off with something brand new. Oh wait, no I haven't. I'm returning a fan favourite to the channel that I haven't featured in a couple of years. Saban is going to be playing in the Yank Panzer 38T, the Hetzer. And this tank is a fan favourite for a variety of reasons. Probably because it's featured in quite a lot of other World War II media, right? For example, games like Company of Heroes. This was an absolute beast in Company of Heroes, if any of you have had the pleasure of playing that awesome RTS. But it's not just a fan favourite because I guess it's like a semi-famous tank that a lot of people will know know about before they go into the game. It is also absolutely kick-ass in World of Tanks. It has 60 millimetres of frontal armour on the lower plate and the upper plate, which is well angled, which means that this tank has about 80 to 90 millimetres of effective frontal armour and no weak point on top. And another reason why people like this tank is because it can equip a very large calibre gun, a 105mm gun that is just absolutely brutal. It can one-shot equal tier tanks, and when it meets lower tier tanks, such as that IKV-72 that he just shot at, yeah, it's definitely going to remove all of those hit points. To be exact, you've got 350 average damage if you manage to penetrate your AP rounds or alternatively your heat rounds on this tank. And if you manage to penetrate a high explosive round on the, um, on the enemy team, then that is 410. Now of course the penetration isn't quite going to be so high using a large caliber gun that, as if you were using a low caliber gun. It's got 64mm on the AP, 104 on the heat rounds, which used to be 150mm of penetration way 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 back in the day before Wargaming nerfed those derpy premium rounds. But the high explosive rounds on this tank have still got 53mm of penetration. And so quite often you find if the enemies have got about 350 or 400 hit points, you're probably going to want to try and penetrate a high explosive round if they're lightly armoured. Now to talk about the different variety of rounds that Saban has taken in his tank here, he's got a, a diff load of AP, a load of heat, well he's almost got equal numbers of AP, heat and high explosive left now, and they're going to be better in different situations. The armour piercing rounds will be very good against extremely lightly armoured tanks that are very well angled, because 105mm is going to overmatch every armoured plate just up to about 34 millimeters in thickness, right? So any 34 millimeter plate, this gun will penetrate with the AP rounds every single time, no matter what angle it hits. However, a Valentine on, on the enemy team is certainly quite a heavily armored tank, and so he's probably going to want to try and use the heat rounds, but he fires it at the mantlet. And remember, heat doesn't do very well against spaced armor, and you will have some spaced armor over the mantlet of the Valentine, so he wastes one of his precious heat rounds. And the reason why it's a waste is because the Hetzer can only use 20 rounds of ammunition. So he decides that he doesn't want to fire heat at the IKV, he's going to try and penetrate an AP round. Will he hit the top of the tank? Yeah, oh, wow, he threaded the needle there, shutting down the IKV-72 on the enemy team. Great result, another tier 3 Swedish tank destroyer taken out. But this Valentine is picking apart. Oh wow, what was that from the side? Oh no, the enemies are flanking him, he's got to watch out from his left. But there we go, oh the Valentine crests and that's where your AP and heat rounds do come in very handy when you have a flat surface that doesn't have any spaced armor on the enemy team and he shuts down the Valentine, literally one-shotting that tier 4 premium Soviet light tank. A great round there as well, killing the A20 and before we've even blinked, Saban's on 8 kills, 1639 damage done and that is what the Hetzer is just absolutely awesome for. The aim time on this tank is absolutely incredible. 1.7 seconds aim time with a derpy gun on a low tier tank destroyer, it allows you to snap shots like no other. Saban's got to be careful here, fair enough he's picked up 8 kills so far with the, I guess the, the 13 rounds that he's fired. So 8 kills for 13 rounds fired, but he's only got 7 left and there are 5 tanks left on the enemy team, and I'm not sure if he can depend on his allies. He's loading his final heat round here, right through the lower plate of the DW2. Doesn't roll high however, but it would have had to roll exceptionally high to be able to take out that tank. And now comes a Valentine. The high explosive round fired at him does 145 damage, but leaves him on 32 hit points. The Valentine's penetrating his rounds on the Hetzer, which is a bit of a surprise, but the rate of fire, not too bad on this tank, allows him to get another one in, finish him off, and he bounces the T28 on the eight on the enemy team, who's probably using uh, maybe the, the 76mm, or he could be using that 57mm that a lot of people like to use on the T28 that is very efficient, especially with APCR rounds. Reloading just in time to be able to finish him off. 
pick up his 10th kill, 2,175 damage done so far in this tier 4 game. And where did that DW2 go? That certainly isn't the fastest tier 4 German heavy tank. There he is, right in front. And Saban decides that he wants to just go for it. Comes around the corner. Oh, he lost a few hit points there. I think he might have been able to be a, a little bit more defensive. But then again, he also has to worry about the T-46 who was on top of the hill. The T-46 probably going to make his way down to try and chase him. And hopefully, Saban can now use the, the not bad mobility of the Hetzer to be able to progress towards the cap circle. Because it's very likely that the Stritzwang M40L on the enemy team is capping there. So not too bad so far. 11 kills, 2,216 damage. Absolutely incredible. Now one thing I should mention is that while this gun looks absolutely incredible so far, right guys, with its penetration in this kind of a matchup, as soon as you have to start to get into those those tier 5 or tier 6 games, I really don't think this 105mm is going to do you very proud. But then again, if you do have a bunch of high explosive rounds, then at least you can chunk apart the enemy by just splashing on their, their at least their thick armour, right? Will Saban risk? his shot. He can't. He only has two rounds remaining and there are two enemy tanks. So he has to make sure he hits each one of these shells and that is going to be a tough order because the accuracy on this gun is 0.53. So unless you're engaging at short to mid ranges or preferably short ranges like Saban has been engaging during this replay, then you're most likely not to hit with the Hetzer. So gosh, there comes the T-46. He finishes off the Stritzwang and keeps his frontal armor towards the T-46 on the enemy team. Ricocheting one shell, great result there. Definitely wouldn't have bounced with the side. And now we're going to get into a very awkward situation. 12 kills. One round left. And the T-46 on the enemy team has two kills as well. It's a complete showdown at the end of this game. One false move. And Saban will lose this undoubtedly. Or perhaps he'll draw it, but we'll see if the T-46 manages to figure it out. Now remember, the T-46, while it is a, a tier 3 light tank, has very nasty guns. Well, the choice of two very nasty guns. It can use a 45mm with 75mm of penetration. Or alternatively, it can use a 76mm gun, which has got, if he fires high explosive rounds, which a lot of low players will do, and he should do if he sees that the Hetz is on 22 hit points, he will be able to splash anywhere on the Hetz to be able to take it out. So this is just sudden death kind of stuff right now. It's neck and neck. Luckily, the final remaining shell in Saban's tank is high explosive, and the T-46 is so lightly armoured that all he has to really do is catch the side of the tracks to be able to take him out. One funny thing to mention about the Hetzer as well is that it can only aim 5 degrees to the left, so it's good that the T-46 is on the right of Saban's tank, because he can actually aim 15 degrees to the right, so that should be favourable for this kind of a situation having a look around, making sure he's not going to reverse into anything. The T-46 comes around. All he has to do is hit the tracks with the high explosive and it should be able to remove the remaining 40 hit points of the Tier 3 Soviet light tank. This is so close. 6 minutes and 43 seconds left on the game. There was your chance, Saban. Take it! Take it! He's there! Yes! Do it! Do it! Yes! Great stuff! Doesn't miss the shot. No heartbreak here in his 13th kill picked up on Himmelsdorf. What an explosive game this was. So what a result here for Saban. Unsurprisingly, his ace tanker for 1,705 base experience points. That's gigantic for a tier 4 tank. He also secures the Fadens medal for destroying the last remaining vehicle on the enemy team with the last remaining shell in his tank. A Spartan medal for ricocheting with less than 10% of his initial hit points. A Nadens medal for destroying all of the light tanks on the enemy team. And that is an incredible achievement at low tier where there are generally a hell of a lot more light tanks than at high Tier. In addition to the high caliber medal for his 2,415 damage, five times what anyone else, and probably more than his team combined in this round, and also a top gun, because remember, when you're shooting tier 3 tanks, I don't think they count towards the bigger medals, like the Radley Walters, the Pools, and 13 is just one short of the rarest medal in the game, the Rezene Heroes Medal. And interestingly enough, we see that Seaband doesn't run a premium count, yet even with those heat rounds that he fired, he still made 3,360 66 credits profit and if he'd been running a premium account that would have been 16,000 credits profit so it looks like the Hetzer even with a, a few heat rounds fired does look like it can be quite a decent tank for a free to play player especially considering the alpha damage with that 105 millimeter right so Saban thank you so much for uploading this on what replays I do love a good Hetzer game and it makes me want to go and give my T40 a swing 
but then again it's been nerfed so badly. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a like. And as it's Sunday it's time for another Tech Tree Showcase and this time Seabar voted for the Japanese Heavy and 63 people backed him up. And so come along on twitch.tv forward slash crickybaby right now to see me play through the entirety of the Japanese Heavy line, reviewing each tank as I go by, well at least a mini tank review of each one, culminating with the tier 10 Japanese Super Heavy, the Type 5 Heavy. And as always, thank you so much for watching, you've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.